money. I was in like every commercial at some point in time. <laughs> Where? What? I don't know. I mean, do you want me to list them? Uh, yeah. But anyway, you say you, you rescued me from that. I rescued you from that. So now I'm going to L.A. with him. He can't even spend time with me because <laughs> you I like made Venice. him. I made him. And I'm going to L.A. And now i got no one to hang out with. You know what, Kenny? For those of you who don't know L.A., it's a huge wasteland. And it's one of the worst cities in the world. But the Windy City. There's a part of it, Venice, that's off to the side. And it's, it's for hippies. And it's nice in its own way, but it's it's not good to stay there. It's oh, good to visit. First of and all, you, you insist on staying there. Well, you isolate I, yourself. I lived in Venice because in, you know, the rest of L.A., you got to buy a girl dinner. In Venice, you buy her a stale donut and she'll fuck you, you know? <laughs> Have you, first of all, I, when you live in L.A. and you're broke, you want to live where people are doing way worse than you. It's the only thing that actually maintains your sanity. I went there because everybody was fucking crazy and people were literally eating sand off the beach. That's how fucking poor they were. It, 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 Covered in mites and fucking dreadlocks and you know, it just so so you know, I'd wake up, I'd go to Venice Beach, I'd sit in a drum circle, try to inhale people's weed and and then I go, Oh shit, you know what things aren't that bad. I don't have those 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 scabs on my face yet i'm still okay <laughs> it's uh if you want to feel better about yourself head to vegas to to venice yeah it's, uh, and the rest of la will make you feel pretty shitty about yeah, yourself oh my god yeah yeah and then you, you know you get fucking bentley's run over your feet when you're walking down so it, listen in, in la people show off their cash in new york they hide it in new york there's billionaires on the subway in la there's homeless guys in ferraris it's it's, it's, it's unbelievable it's a really it's a really Tough place to live. It's the when, worst. When you don't have money, but you know. Oh, it's so icy. You can't even walk anywhere. Yeah, no, you can't. Uh, listen, I'm t not joking. I had like no friends. Like I, I had like a really good. Fr I met all my friends at coffee shops because I didn't have a job. Svenny was a fucking dick. He met some skanky fucking bitch who like. Oh. Yeah, he was a total like. I. He was such a fucking dick to me. That guy. He he met some like rich chick. And all of a sudden, he doesn't have to pay rent, so he, like, stops hanging out with me because, oh, I'm one of the little people. He was having, like, wine-tasting parties <laughs> with his fucking wife, who looked like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. And, um, and I wasn't invited. I, I was can, homeless. Don't talk too much about this. I was, uh, fuck him. I was homeless in L.A., homeless. My best friend, I said to him, and there's a true story, I said, Spenny, can I just, like, use your address just so... You know, once every 14 months when a Chase Manhattan visa bill comes or if I get asked to do a witness, you know, be a witness at my, is it, can I just please use your address for my mail? And I didn't get any mail. He goes, no, no, you can't. You were homeless. Oh, that's, and that's, I, there's a lot of resentment. I hear that, I heard that story maybe a hundred. Yeah, and it's true. There's times. a lot of resentment. He was a total fucking dick to me. Um, and that was before... Kenny versus Benny. Before Kenny That's versus where Benny. the friendship turned rivalry. But well, was it always a rivalry? No, but now, he, now he's the homeless one, and I'm the one that has the cash. So, you know what? Now, hey, Spenny, you know what? You can leave your mail at my house. Very nice. All right? So, that's why. <laughs> what a good guy. Yeah. See, so you always nice. taking the high road, Kenny. Yeah. I like that. Anyways, um... Yeah, but, you know, I'm still excited to go back to L.A., and I think it's important to be there. there the other thing is there's no reason for me to be there. It's pilot season now. Um, yeah, you want to pitch shows or something during the time when nobody is even available or wants to pitch. Yeah, I'd like to pitch pitches. shows, and then people are like, oh, so, wait, you're the guy that did who can do the dump in your pants? Which which one are you? Or, oh, wait, are you the guy that ate a person? Or, yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Oh, that, uh, yeah, like I'm gonna, I can, uh, my ability to sell a show in Los Angeles is depleting rapidly. And that's why I have my YouTube channel, and that's why I'm sitting here in the middle of a snowstorm in uh, an old, old neighborhood that, uh, in a building that used to, you know, house slaves. This was the slave. This ice house. Auction. I think this was the ice Building. house. This was it? This I was think it. this was an ice house. Anyways, all right. So look, so I'm now I'm stuck with shitty Jeff, who uh, doesn't even eat meat. Doesn't <laughs> eat. He doesn't eat pork. Doesn't eat beef. You know. And, and when you go to LA, you eat. It's it's truly one of the greatest. Well, I think you eat your food. I come oh. along and I order something else. <laughs> I mean, it's mostly about the sushi and the Mexican. That's, I'm not holding you back there. That's true. Well, we, you know, we, we like the same things, and that's why we're friends. Yeah. Aw. Uh -huh. Shut up, Brian. Uh, that's nice. And we and Brian like the same things, too. I sure. want to bring... Yeah. See, Brian, 
See, somebody who hasn't been to the States, they're kind of like trapped in the Matrix. Have you so been to LA, Brian? I have been to LA. Yeah, yeah but, but you know, Brian keeps going, oh man, you got to try this. First of all, try it. It doesn't really have that good food. Like, people think the food's here amazing. The food's amazing here. It's pretty shitty. Um, uh, people get so excited when there's some, like, new restaurant, you go, and you usually go there, and it's so mediocre and terrible. And it's mediocre and terrible because, you know, we lived in the States, or, I've tra- you know, we've all, tra- you know, we've traveled the world, and, you know, when you have a, a kebab in fucking Sultanahmet in Turkey, it's good. When you have it at the corner of Bathurst and Eglinton, it's shit. Well, so Brian, you can peak as the fresh, in, yeah. in LA, it's just So, you know, different brilliant. ways, yeah, so, so, you know, the food in Toronto's pretty shitty. There are, it's getting better, but it's still pretty shitty. Yeah, compared to the States, the food here totally fucking sucks. Like, it's, it's, it's horrible. Please take me there, Kenny. Yeah, so Brian, got, I mean, Brian keeps talking about this rib place in Toronto. I'm not going to mention it, but there is no barbecue in Toronto. So Brian's like, oh, the ribs are great, man. It's fucking amazing. And, and I, I'm so sick of people <laughs> saying that shitty food is good because they've never had any good food. It's like I was in, I was in, in St. John's, Newfoundland once. My girlfriend at the time, I was like, oh, let's go on a trip to Europe. And she was like, oh, I hear St. John's is good. And I was like, cha-ching, I just saved four Gs. <laughs> we fly into St. John's. The second I flew into St. John's, it was like Bergen-Belsen. I, I was flying into this town. I said, oh, my God, this is going to be a nightmare. And I sat there for about nine days. There was nothing to do, no restaurants. Like, yeah, people are really nice, and, and, and but th- there's, you know, this was a long time ago, and there's nothing fucking nothing to do except go on these like Anne of Green Gable tours with a bunch of old ladies knitting next to you and talking about um, you know anyways Billy Van or whatever the fuck they were talking about it was a fucking nightmare so I'm just so I don't don't know what's going on to that but the funny thing about your taste in food which is extremely oh, yeah. particular. Oh, so, okay, so then I go to fucking Newfoundland, and I, I, the only reason I went to Newfoundland was because I wanted to go eat a fucking lobster. I go, oh, you know what? I'm going to be literally, like, I'm going to be eating fucking lobsters like Tic Tacs. I'm going to be I'm gonna be fucking ramming, like, lobster brains down my fucking throat. I'm going to be, like, gargling fucking lobsters. We get there, there's no lobsters. Because the season was over, no, because, or because they, they give export, it away. Yeah, they export all the lobsters. They don't even keep one. Should have stayed home. Yeah. Should have stayed home. You know, lobsters used to be prison food. It, it was. It's only. I recent remember you that, saying that. Yeah, it's only recent that it's. It, well, somewhat recently that it's become a luxurious item that the rich <laughs> like to eat. Yeah. So yeah. So there they were, used to give it. To